Hello guys, welcome back to Stoneblock here with Super Turtle, and today guys we're going to get right into it, but first I want to recommend you guys checking out the link to Discord down below, we have the Turtle Club Discord server, there's a whole bunch of cool mods I think you guys would really love to join there, and just be a part of the fun community that is the Turtle Club, but anyways guys, without further ado, we're going to get into today's episode, and you know, the whole idea for today's episode is to automate the clay production so that I can make a really big smeltery because as you can see I'm literally recording this like five seconds after the previous video so we're gonna get into making it um, so I do have some clay and what I want to be able to do is automate the, the clay process and to do that we're gonna need to make a upgrade mining for our transfer nodes which in order to make this, we're going to need to make a golden pickaxe, which isn't too bad, but we need to make an upgrade base, which you need a resonator for, and a gold plate, by the way, and GP, so there's two things. And then to make a resonator, you need redstone, block of coal, and some iron, and then that's not, all that stuff's not hard at all. But this thing here, this resonator redstone crystal, this is a little bit of work to make. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get four redstone and an ender shard. And to get an ender shard, you can either use a glass cutter with a normal ender pearl, but our getting ender pearls right now is pretty limited because we don't have that many things spawning in. We don't want to because we're not geared up for it. And the other way to do it is through crushed end stone. And through crushed end stone, you need endstone. You need to have end stone first and you hammer it, right? And then to get end stone, we need to take glowstone and a stone barrel and put lava into it. Lava first and then glowstone and we get end stone. So we're going to start by doing that today because I want that. I want it so bad. And what better place to get lava than our lava production farm? So just like so, we'll make five and stone, see if we can get one. So here we go, let's grab some glowstone here. We should have the materials for it. Oh, I need that back, give it. Give me that back, it's mine. All right, yep, and stone, one. And stone, two. Oh, and stone three. I'm just clicking randomly now. And stone four and and stone five. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead, place these down. Give them a whack. Ta-da. And let's see about sifting these bad boys up. So hopefully we get some materials. I don't know if using iron mesh works better. Oh! <gasps> No, it doesn't. Okay, so we have to use a string, so we're good. And did we get anything? No. All right, so I'm going to be here for a bit longer than I originally anticipated, but we might be able to actually automate a little bit of this, like the lava part. So I'm all about automation in the early game because it is ridiculous. So let's go ahead here. We'll go down like so. We will go like this, and where's our transfer pipes? There you are. We'll go just like that, and now we're good to go. Should be transferring in. So I'll just sit, sit here. Wow, I just swore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll just sit here and and uh, and just click this. I'll be back. Oh, my gosh. All right, after sifting the many sifts, we have successfully got one. <laughs> I did get an ender lily and a chorus of flower, which is good, but I uh, there I have no more glowstone. It is 100% all gone, and I am very sad. <laughs> and I don't know where I put the other... Where did I put you? The other meshes. There's two. There should be two more somewhere. It's got to be in here. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, so we've got we've got it. So now we need four redstone. One, two, three, four. We're just gonna keep that redstone on us. If we go like this, yes. Yes, we've done it. So now we need a block of coal, which we should have in here. And hither. Hello. Resources. Okay, and then we need some iron. Uh yeah, just yeah, take some iron, and then we need um, let's see, mining up, mining up, oh, that's right, sharpening kits, I've totally forgotten about those. A resonator, we have successfully done it, guys, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And we want to get one more glowstone. Do I have any more glowstone? Mm, no. Nope, oh, 
No more glowstone. Darn. I might have to get some more glowstone, guys, because we're going to need it for planting the ender lily. And we need to plant the ender lily on endstone. You can't plant it on other things, but it grows a heck of a ton faster on endstone. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll be right back again. I just wanted to show you guys what we got. We made, we made this, and I'm also worried about one other thing. We'll put it here. Um... Let's see, that is from actually, or that's from extra utilities. So let's go here. I'm worried. I'm actually really worried because this is the thing. Okay, so that works. What is the other one? What is the use of this? It goes, because there's one you just turn. Yeah, see, we need another one. It's one that we don't need another one for? Okay. Now we have to get another one. Oh no! Oh. All right, back to the grind. Uh, so much fun. Uh, more, more, more glowstone. All right, we got two more of these Ender shards. I went ahead and set up the Ender Lily over on this End Stone. So hopefully that does pretty well. Uh, we also got another coarse flower, and uh, I am like pooped because that was a lot of uh, mining the stuffs and things. Oh, jeez. But anyway, let's go ahead and make the uh, thingamadoohicker. Okay, so for you... Oh, hold up, I missed. Okay, you, perfect. Okay, and then you could be used. And, you know, we might as well just make... Oh, we can't make a water mill yet. Dang. Dang. Okay, so we got to make the windmill crapper. And hold up. Actually, no, I, I messed this up. I messed it up. Okay, game, you can stop with the stupidness. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, why can't I place anything? Okay, so we need to make that, this guy. Polished stone. One, two, three, four. Like this, you go shebang, then you go shebang, and we go. Oh, hello. Okay, there we go. Where do we put that guy? Okay, so now if we take two gold, put them together to make one of these, put it in here, and then go ba ba bang, and wait for that little grid power number to go all the way up, we should be good to go. All right, yeah, we made one. Perfect. And let's go ahead. One, two, three. One, two. I don't know why I just moved that. My, let's not talk about it. Bam. Okay, so now. Um, I think we're okay to do this. Because we want the oak barrel to be... Here and we will place this here with this here. You can move. Place that there. And we can pump it in like so. Where's our wrench? Go shebang. Does that have to come in from the top or something? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't tell me we did all this and it doesn't freaking work. Um, plan B. Oh, that is so much easier to make. Why did I make... Mm, we learned something. Uh, extra utilities is stupid. Oh, those are bricks. We need clay. <gasps> oh, no. Dust plus water equals clay. All that work for nothing. Well, we have, an, we have another cobblestone generator. That was fun. Did all of that for nothing. Now just, oh my gosh. 
Well, if we ever need anything else we to make, we do have this. So that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. <sighs> Did you know about this the whole time, Pet Rock? Did you know about this, that we didn't need to do all that fancy work? We could have just gone right around it and been a lot happier. You probably knew, didn't you? You just didn't tell me. Ah, aggravation level over 9,000. All right, so I'm going to keep doing this. I guess I'll be back when this is done. Ah, so much fun. All right, so we're going to try using the uh, sync method, which hopefully will work. I hope it does. This is a lot easier to make. And it works. Okay, so I could literally just sit here and do this myself. Uh, or we could go ahead and make another servo that I just remembered I need to make. Go like, oh, hello. Go like this, and we should be able to make it up. Oh, here. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Servo, you. Yep, I can make you. And let's see, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, there's that. We need the item ducks. Actually, I need to make one more servo. Yes, that worked. Okay, it's slow, but it works. All right, so let's make up one more servo. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I just need two iron ingots, one thing of redstone, we're good. All right, check it out. Check us out. Look at that, automating the clay, just like the entire quest was for this entire thing. Okay. And then we place one item duct here with a servo on it, off. And this should work. Yep, it's working. Check it out. It's very slow, but it's working. And let's see here. Dang, we got a lot of resources. We need to hurry up and get our smeltery up and running. And with this clay setup, that is all within reach. So, bye bye. I'm going to let. Oh, actually, no, not bye bye. I'm going to go ahead and let this do its thing off camera. I'm going to go do some other stuff around probably my place. And then we'll call it good. And then we'll come back and then we'll have some fun with some tinkers, maybe. Sweet, so the clay system is working very well actually, and we've gone ahead and we put all this, the seared bricks here and in, into this configuration. Now once we put this last block here, you should see that light up, and it is a complete smell tree. Now as you can see, we only have three slots because, wait, was it three? That was nine slots, sorry, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine areas. That makes sense, and then it goes up one block. So if I were to, bring this up if I had enough resources to, it would go up to 18, and it would go by nines after that. So I've got a whole bunch of the grout or the seared bricks smelting up here. We should be able to get some of these. All right, we got 57 more, so 14 more blocks, perfect. We can actually go up two levels. And it's not dangerous to be in here yet. It will be though, once we go up and once we get uh, like a material in here. So like iron or something smelting. Okay, so as you can see, those are smelting up. Or they sh they're, they're kind of smelting, but they're not really smelting. Um, that's what they would be doing. So I'm just gonna come up here. And I actually, I am not 100% sure what the limit is for, for that. So we're gonna put that there for now. All right, and I'm gonna keep letting these smelt up. I just wanna bring you guys along because we are about to uh, really get into this. And I'm also thinking about putting the, the another drain here and moving the tank back behind this wall and putting a ender tank here, which I'm probably gonna do right now because this is a much better idea. So cool thing is we don't need any pipes or anything like that. It'll just take it right out of the tank. So we're gonna grab this one here. I'm gonna put that here like so with that switched on and then this should fill up. Yep, sure is. And so what that does for us is it allows us to put a drain here like I've always wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I need that back. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so we can have the crafting basin 
and the casting table be right next to each other and that's how it'll look it'll look a lot better all right so we're going up five blocks so nine times five is 45 obviously so we should have 45 slots here once i fill this in yeah so one two three four five six seven Oh, I don't know. I don't know how many we can put in there. Well, let's go ahead. Actually, this will be a perfect test to see if my math is correct. Let's take 64. And we'll throw these bad boys in. And hold up. I don't want to do this in my head. Oh, phone, you're failing me. Give me a second. Stop the phone. There we go. We got 64 minus 19. 45. So 45 blocks will go into there. And cool thing is, is 45 iron ingots go in and 90 come out. The smeltery will double our resources. So this will be amazing. It'll be great. I'll be doubling resources. We can actually automate it, put a little chest here and two hoppers going in to it. So I can, <clears throat> it'll be great. Trust me. It'll be great. It'll be the best. So I'm going to go ahead and detail the rest of this room or make it look good. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, here is the completed room. I added this birch border around both rooms to hopefully give it a, uh, a pretty cool contrast and to make it look a little better. It'll look much better once these uh, the acacia wood or the dark oak is, because I'm recording a whole bunch of these because I, I have the uh, this week off, and I'm, I, I need to record a bunch as much as I can. So that's why these haven't changed yet, if you're wondering. Um, probably, because uh, like from episode three to episode today, whatever one this is, uh, I have recorded this all today. So we're making some crazy progress. I am so excited to do this. But check it out. We have a bunch of uh, a bunch of iron. Look, we have 31 blocks of iron and uh, two gold. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to set up the those hoppers that I was talking about earlier. So let's go ahead. We'll just grab some of these. We'll make eight chests. Grab some iron. And we just need two. Perfect, and we'll actually, we'll go like this, and we'll go around it. There we go. That way, we're getting all of our resources, and stuff like that. Okay, I don't know where I was going. So here, here, we're actually gonna have to break, oh, we're gonna have to break these. Okay, so the chesticle, actually, hold up, we should get some, do I have any leftover glowstone? I don't think I do. We're gonna have to. I'll, I'll have to fix it later. But we're gonna put some light underneath it because there's a like a lack of light in the middle. And if we can hide it here, I think it'll be pretty cool. That kind of lights it up a little bit, but it'll look better. So we also need to fix that. And let's see here. I should have a bunch of this seared brick left over. Not a bunch, but a, a decent amount. And we'll also grab some spruce. Okay, so these, this will go back here. There we go, because you'll see it behind. And do we need to do it at the bottom? Uh, probably not. Casting basin, there we go, check that out. So these are 100%, like not 100% automatic. We can make them 100% automatic, but they do cause a little bit of lag. But if we go like this and we wait for it, actually, that's going to take a while to, to harden. Let me go make the clocks here because we do have a significant amount of redstone. And we don't have the cool clocks anymore. Okay, so we're going to make this one, which is one redstone, and that's just stone. Okay, this is a very old method that uh, I've been using for a significant amount of time. Oops, we only need one of those. There we go. All right. And two of them. Perfect. And we're also going to need two levers on these. All right, so that goes here. And as soon as this one goes, you can see it started. Um, so the lever is there to, because this will run it off every few ticks. So this will pull all of this out automatically. We don't have to do anything. But when I want to go ahead and switch over, let's let this pull out. Okay. So we're going to need to get an iron ingot cast going. Or an ingot cast, not an iron ingot cast. Sorry about that. And to do that, we're going to need to grab one iron. Oh, what am I, what the heck was that? <laughs> that was really weird. 
So we're going to need to place this here with the gold, and we will lose the iron ingot, unfortunately, with this. But it's just one. Okay, perfect. As you can see, and then if we turn this on, that will make gold ingots, which is not what we want. We want the, that to go there. And so this will turn all of these into ingots. All of them. So let's see. 29. So let's do the math. Let's do the math real quick. Ready? So 29 times 9 plus 2. That's 263 ingots in there. And we still have a heck ton more of iron to put in. Look at that. And this works for all of them. I don't want to mix them together because it will they will combine and make other things. Uh, so we'll just be using iron for now. And just making up a stupid amount of this stuff. And the lava keeps re getting refilled from the uh, from the forge or the, our system. This guy, it's filling it up. Check it out. Yeah. Got three of these moved over. So yeah. But uh, we got our, our forge set up. Now we just need to go ahead and start making our tools. So we will be doing that in a future episode. But guys, I hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace out. Bye-bye.